Hi guys, good morning. Happy Monday, y'all, happy Monday. Anyway, y'all see what I'm doing? I'm trying to just smooth the, the hot mess of a hair I have here. And look, I dyed the gray hairs, y'all. They, I just, listen, if my gray hairs came in evenly and made me feel good, I would totally not dye them. But guess what they do? They just come in just around a little bit here, then a few here, then a little one here, and then a few right here, and then <laughs> and then here, and then a little more, like one, two, one, two, sprinkle, sprinkle. What that? That's why I dye them. <laughs> If they were more consistent and even, I would probably just leave them alone because there was a point when I was like, eh, let me just let them be. And then I'm like, nah, they, nah. My daddy has a full head of salt and pepper. Trust me, and the man ain't 70 yet. Actually, me no know, he probably 70 now, me no know. <laughs> My parents had me when they were young, whatever. So they're still young, relatively young. And he had a birthday on October 1st. But I have no idea how old he is. I'm gonna call him later because of this video. Anyway, this is not about my family. <sighs> I love my father though and I love my, my kids, all my kids. Anyway. Let me not get there this morning. So, I, I washed my hair yesterday, dyed the front, and, and that's it. So, I've been sitting here trying to flat iron it. However, I had an email last week, and this is why I am making this video. Because I am super, 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 super shocked. And y'all know my self-confidence up there, right? Because I'm me, and I just do collect on Colette's Corner, so again, welcome. But I like to try to keep it as real as possible, live and direct. I really don't like too much of the edited videos and stuff, so I hope you guys appreciate it and you don't mind me coming on here with my hair looking all crazy and stuff. But there's a reason for that, because I was in the middle of, of taking care of this, and then my daughter heard the door knock. Now, I purchased the new Pat McGrath palette. I'm just gonna put it out there right this minute. I did purchase the new palette. However, I woke up this morning to see that it just shipped. I even emailed them last week and asked, well, what's up? And they said, well, it's being prepared. And when it ships, they would let me know. Well, they finally ship it after a whole week and so. <sighs> So I was very, very excited to get that. And I also have some things from QVC, but the QVC stuff is kitchen stuff. So I'll share that with you guys in a separate video. So anyway, jump into this. Last week I made a haul because I had gone to the Dollar Tree and um, another video that I have done for you guys, but I have not gotten around to posting it yet. So I think there are two videos, but I think I'm gonna just delete one of them and use this video and, um, you know, share the things that I was gonna talk about in two of those past videos. All right, stick with me. Let's get into this. So the knock on the door. I was like, wait, it's not the Path McGrath stuff. Um, I expect, uh, QVC stuff, but it shouldn't be here yet. So what is that? All right. I got last week Tarte was having um, some kind of anniversary, their 25th anniversary sale or something. And they sent me the text and the emails and I jumped on one of the sales because I was like, okay, I need this and this and this. So let me just grab it now and be done, right? So I placed a Tarte order on Friday. Today is Monday. I picked up the box the FedEx door just 
knocked on the door, put it down and walked away. I didn't even see Hyde or hear him when I went, went outside. He was already at his truck on, out on the street. And I was like, I don't know who's, it has my name, but I don't know where it's from. I never even got a shipping confirmation, y'all. And the box is here. So let's get into this. All right, so they sent me, um, ooh. All right, so this is foundation. The rainforest of the sea thing. Some of you may, or may already have this. I'll test it. All right, and this is kind of what I wanted from the thing because it comes with one this was twenty dollars it was on sale it was 20 bucks and there's one primer and two mascaras and i kind of like the tarte mascaras and they are indeed full sizes oh i can see the primers all the way up here wow you can't see it from there but i can here and i like the this one has been like around around since forever love this and then i remember when i did try this one when this collection came out the tartis collection i did fall in love with this i also liked the eyeliner a lot but it's just a little bit of a pain squeezing it from the tube to apply it to a brush and just put in a pot and be done with it but anyway like the tartis um collection and i have two of the palettes so i needed these because i go through mascaras quite a bit and you get a primer and these sell for i think like anywhere between 18 and 20 something dollars they retail for so this on the box they say 30 dollar value um 68 dollar retail value the set was 30 and it's a 68 dollar retail value but they were on sale for 20 so i snagged them can't nobody tell me nothing anyway other things I grabbed, I did not buy any makeup. Let me see what these are. <gasps> yes, I didn't buy makeup. And there's a reason for that because I have the Tarte palettes that I actually do like. And so I picked up this palette because I really like their empty palettes. They are quite beautiful. This, the packaging looks gorgeous. And I saw this one and thought, oh my goodness, that's so pretty. I do have one of their palettes here. I had only bought one in the past, but I actually do like it. And I like keeping empty palettes around for switching around makeup, different collections and stuff. The box, <gasps> the box is out the door. Oh my goodness, guys. Tarte, this is one of the reasons why I like Tarte the brand, as a brand, because look at this. It could have been blue, but it's pink and sparkly. And most of you know that I'm not very much of a pink fan, but it has some purple flecks in it and an orangey flex, and it's just such a reflective prettiness. And then that's how the back part of it is. You open her up, your mirror is there, and look, it's just gorgeous. I can see me using this. And guess what? Unlike some of their previous uh, pa empty palettes, this one is not heavy. It is quite lightweight. So I don't know. This was $7. Seven bucks. Okay. So I needed to jump on that because yes. Listen, Linda. Hmm. <laughs> well not linda but y'all know what i mean let me put the box off my lap so i can see the value of this is amazing because if you're like me and you have some of those curated palettes that you like and even the for those of you who now have natasha denona palettes these babies punch out in the back you can stick something in there, punch those out, and you can actually mix and match and curate your own palette if you want, or you can use an empty palette and arrange, say you're going to go somewhere, because I noticed some of y'all kind of traveling around since, you know, even during COVID, 
and if you want to go somewhere for a weekend really quickly downtime with your mate whatever and you want to take a little makeup with you this would come in handy and it's light the reason i say it's good for traveling is because it's lightweight okay enough of that put you to the side i also picked up another empty palette also seven dollars and this one yes lips so i'm gonna open her up this video might end up being a little bit of a longer video because it's it's like combining three hauls in one but bear with me retail therapy is amazing you, you don't know sometimes you're just here and you feel like oh and you see something on sale and you say oh let me treat myself to this you actually feel better oh my heavens all right guys so this is the lip the lipstick thing is here the mirror is there and it has hashtag kiss and makeup so you have your mirror and this is a palette it's a smaller size palette from the other guy but nonetheless another good travel friendly mirror um palette with a mirror and you could actually lay a blush right here you know or a blush and a contour because i depotted my um let me show you really quickly i depotted my abh this is from makeup forever i've had this for years the pan so i depotted all the those got rid of the containers and these ones are from Physicians Formula. So you could easily fit a highlighter, a nice blush or the bronzer, whichever you want to travel with on one side of this and a couple of eyeshadows, what you think you may use the most on your trip and just, just call it a day. So this was also seven bucks and they have a few more. So I wanted to do the video so for those of you who are loyal to watching, you can actually get the information and hop onto the website and snag yourself something. All right, this I also got because when this first came out, this is a brush set and y'all should know this by now. I have a few sponges in my collection, but they're not my favorites, not even the Beauty Blender. Actually, my favorite blending sponge is one of these guys and i think the brand is danielle or something like that but I, it's so soft and nice and really much so much softer when it's wet and i got this from the nordstrom rack they sell them at the nordstrom rack i think i paid like two bucks for this and i like it better than the beauty blender i have not tossed one of these as yet and i've tossed several beauty blenders over the last several years so just a little fyi so back to tarte when this set came out i said oh it's so cutesy and the brushes are pretty and i have some tarte brushes that i love and use that are staples in my collection and i wanted it but i was not paying the price that they had on it initially so i was like hmm, okay we'll see if i get it i get it so my patience paid off because i think this set was twelve dollars and always with the nicely wrapped like that about the brand as well people like to have things that you know look fun see? and there they are okay oh it has a quote on here i just want pretty things oh and a pair of wings oh i might keep this for gifting something to someone oh my goodness okay so first brush out of the thing i have one like this similar from mac but it is um it is synthetic too but it's less fluffy all right so you see the design the tart one is fluffier and the mac one is more streamlined and, and thinner see see how fat the tart one is but yeah it'll work i use this one from mac quite a bit all right so that's the first brush second brush is also 
um, boasting the same tapered feature right there. And this could be either an under eye pow powder brush. I couldn't articulate what I wanted to say just then. Or you can use it to highlight. But as I always encourage you guys to do, if your brush is meant for one thing, you can always use it for something else. One of the things that I like about Tarte brushes over the years, I have found that they do last me a long time. They don't go bad. They don't fall apart at the seam. I've had brushes that just fall apart at the seam. And I can honestly say I have not had a Tarte brush that has falling up, fallen apart on me. So... I like this a lot. I, I, I just kind of like their brushes. This is one of my older Tarte brushes. You can see it's a little bit frayed and worn, but works beautifully. Um, oops, scratch my booty over here. I'm trying to find a Tarte brush I want to show you guys. It's a purple handled one. One of my favorite uh, brushes from them. Okay, here. Got this one years ago. All right, so this one I still use it for eyelining. All right, so here's one of my other Tarte brushes. And the hairs are different, yes, but very well made. I have two of these and I don't remember if I gave away one, but I seem to pull for the same one. So there may be another one hidden in my collection somewhere. But anyway, um, I've never had a problem with their, their brushes. This one is for blush, and I think it might have come with uh, a blush I bought from QVC in a set. And I have two of them is the point. But had this for years and years and years. I think when Tarte first came out with their, um, their blush line, Turn off my curl, my, my flat iron. Um, if you want to know what flat iron I use, it, the name is even rubbing off. It's the Babyliss Pro. Um, what's this? Titanium, nano titanium, whatever. And it's the longer barrel one because I, it covers more for me. Anyway, so basically, for twelve bucks. For a set of five brushes that are usually well made um, say what you will about the brand I do like their brushes so here look just needs a little bit of reshaping you know you get squished during shipping or packaging but this one is you know your highlight your typical highlighting brush or your blush brush and star on the handle again all right two more to go and then i'll get into the other things love a retail therapy by the way nisi loved your video girl yes we we just yes mm -hmm. anyway look at this guy look at it look at it it's just like <laughs> look at it <laughs> fluffy powder brush and one more powder brush to go oh this one is like thick angled hello hi who are you you could get a lot of space covered right here you can get a lot of you know bronzing or or um how you say <sighs> blush you can bronze with this you can blush with this it is quite big so for me i'd have to be careful because i'd probably get blush all the way up in my wish apart of this so <laughs> y'all jamaicans on here know what i meant but you can get a lot from from this and I'm not putting it on my face because it's not clean yet but I'm just putting it close by so yeah um, you can really work this brush if you just want to get that contour right there or you can apply powder with it around the nose and the contours of your face all right let me stop hoo-ha about the brushes so 
the next part of the haul, my so-called retail therapy, I have a ColourPop haul in front of me. And in the ColourPop haul, I have the boxes, but I'm not, in the other video, I talked a lot about the boxes and how I was gonna keep the boxes because of how pretty they look. But the first thing up is I wanted this coral blush from ColourPop. It is a uh, shook to coral. I have not used it as yet, but it's a pressed powder blush. I only have one pressed powder blush from, from ColourPop. And reason being, I have a lot of Tarte blushes and MAC blushes, so I'm, plus I have some drugstore stuff. But anyway, this is the color. It has the gold flecks in there. It's just gorgeous. And I really wanted to try this, so I picked it up during um the buy more get more sale they had okay next up i purchased this set together because i knew i was going to get this guy i love succulents and if if you follow me on instagram then you will no doubt know that i i have succulents and i tend to them quite often and i'm just a fan of succulents so I love on the back look that name shade is written in a succulent this one too and it's raised and it's it's just beautiful every detailing about this palette I like also the box is the same exact detailing and and style no mirror and I love it look at that prettiness and here are the babies that come inside they are just simply gorgeous i don't know but i had to get these if you guys want i can make separate swatch videos as well as you can go watch somebody else's swatch video because there's a lot of them in youtube because i watch swatch videos before i decided was it worth it even though i knew i would get it i really wanted to be like okay let me really see the swatches and stuff and yes so then um i saw the wild nothings and this is like you know cacti on here and the detailing again is amazing i don't know who does color pops artwork but that individual is one blessed body because the plastic sheathing is here that person is one blessed body because look at this detailing i really like the pretty packaging and i do like the detailing that ColourPop is consistently um, consistent with when it comes to their makeup and packaging is that they always give you the names of the shades inside the palette and also on the outside of the palette it wouldn't i wouldn't care if it's not on the back as long as the shadows themselves are named i'm good to go so this is the wild nothing palette and as I mentioned before, this comes in a set of two. All right. And I saw this guy. This one was done very recently, re released recently. It's a sandstone palette. Again, the packaging as with the other two, same exact packaging. The package, the box it comes in is the same look and feel as the palette itself again no mirror on the inside just gorgeous detailing work absolutely amazing and look at these shades i told myself i had to get this because hello mm, right up my alley whoops i can't do that can i i've been having thumb issues y'all my old lady arthritis is setting in in different places it's in my neck it's in my foot <sighs> anyway third things up i went to the nordstrom rack ordered some stuff from the nordstrom rack and long story short had to go in store for something to return one of the items um two piece, two things were kitchen items so they're in my kitchen but I saw these babies and I snagged them 
so these retail for i think what 29 30 dollars somewhere thereabouts 25 between 25 and 29 dollars whatever but i wasn't paying that much for them when they first came out since it's only an eight pan shadow eight pans in here and i thought to myself i would definitely get detour and why does my phone look a little bit fuzzy but anyway so this is detour nordstrom rack nine bucks and change so next is highway queen they could have left out the mirror you know so this is highway queen and i'm trying to make sure that you guys see it clearly oh here we go see that very very pretty colors love 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 detour looking at it i'm a little bit disappointed because they only put one um blue shade in there and i'm like really all right i don't have i think i have one palette i don't have the urban decay naked cherry i may get it later on in life if possible but um this guy i decided to pick up what's this shortcut because i don't have a lot of these um plummy shades because i'm not you know i just <laughs> they don't pull me like that so um this is why i got this i think i only have one that i think they say is a dupe for the urban decay naked cherry in that color scheme and it's from rimmel and for five bucks i decided let me try the Rimmel version. And I actually like the Rimmel one that I have. So I decided to holler at this. So I did. And then the last one is my favorite color. And that is G Train. And I think they did good with this one. The color story is nice. This, even though it's a gold, it's like a green gold. They have, you have your neutral shades, but at least we get two greens in here. And I don't know why this exists in there, but whatever. <laughs> and this one also has a like a, a very slight hint of green. You see that? There's a very light shimmer green gold thing right under there. Not as deep as this guy. So you see the pattern, right? You see the coordination going on? I okay so that's it y'all that's it um when the when the uh qvc stuff gets here i will do an unboxing video for you guys and when um when the pat mcgrath thing comes i will probably i won't do a haul video because it's just that one palette so what i'll do with the pat mcgrath is more than likely make um oh these hair clips ouch i can't even squeeze it properly ow ow um these i'm gonna show you the hair clips really quickly there's that one and i also got these from the nordstrom rack I've been wanting something like this for a while and I got these and these are big so I got them from the Nordstrom rack but basically what I was saying is um, with the Pat McGrath with the Pat McGrath palette what I will do is just come on here and do swatch videos for you guys and possibly an eye look or two if you guys would like um the pat mcgrath palette the celestial one it's also now at sephora so if you have sephora points and you are interested in the palette you know and sephora does after pay now i realize so if you want to try out that <laughs> idiot um if you want to try out the palette then by all means you have that option now with sephora because it's gonna be on it's on it's on as of yesterday sunday the fourth ouch 
Guys, I'm having, I can't even open a bottle of water. My thumb in the joint here has been killing me and in here. I woke up the other morning with it locked up like that. Oh boy. But I'm trying, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. So yeah. Uh, so on that note, I'm just fluttering my hair. Normally I don't give it so many passes. Girls, but because it's not, um, I don't have it too high on heat. I just, you know, leave it right there. But that being said, I need to go finish my hair and look and put on some makeup and look like somebody's child. I probably ain't nobody child anymore, but whatever. <laughs> or somebody's wife or something. So let me um get off of here and um i will catch up with you guys soon all right so i'm gonna upload the video just the raw footage for y'all and that's all she wrote so from me and my big hair thank you for watching and thank you for spending time with me <sighs> stay safe and be well be kind to each other being kind is cool and on that note, happy Monday, October 5th. All right, take care. Enough love, y'all. Bye-bye.